So let's see what's going on in Ohio. People shouldn't feel ashamed or scared what sign they have in their front yard. But many residents in Portage County are feeling scared after Sheriff Bruce Zakowski said the following on Facebook about Kamala Harris supporters. Quote, when people ask me what's going to happen if the flip-flopping laughing hyena wins, I say write down all the addresses of the people who had her signs in their yards. So when the illegal human locust, which she supports, needs places to live, will already have the addresses of their new families who supported their arrival, end quote. Those with Harris yard signs in their lawn now feeling intimidated. A threatening post to me and my wife because we have a sign out here that says who we want to run for, win for president. And it's a threatening um, implication for those who are immigrants coming in. The post comes as Zakowski runs for re-election this November. His opponent, John Barber, reacting. Calling the vice president a, a terrible name and calling uh, people of immigration status uh, a terrible name. I think. Uh, what is a person of immigration status? Did he just make that up? Pretty much uh, shows some level of. Uh, um, I don't want to. I, I don't know other, any other word to use than racism, and it's, a, it's an unfortunate thing. Meanwhile, Portage County Commissioner Tony Badalamenti has filed a complaint with the Ohio Attorney General's office. I believe that if you're a Democrat or Republican and I'm opposite, it's your choice. And I, I should have the free right and will, without being intimidated, that I can share my beliefs or have a belief in whatever I do. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about Brandon. Thanks for watching. Stay updated. <laughs> I hate the fucking news, man. Residents of Ohio should not be scared to put up a sign in their yard. Find out more at Sabin. Thanks for watching. <laughs> well, this guy's fired, right? This this sheriff. He's he's. I'm assuming he's gonna be fired. I've seen so many sheriffs get fired for less. Uh, whether I agree with his rhetoric or not uh what an odd what an odd plan of action in your in your town the town that you uh keep safe and you know if you're a sheriff it's it's kind of your job to create a relationship with your community you know what i mean it's your job to create a rapport with your with your citizens the citizens that you are in charge of policing and Hey, look, I'm a, clearly I'm a conservative Republican. Clearly I do not like Kamala Harris. I do not like Joe Biden. Uh, I don't agree with you if you vote for that side. Now, with that being said, you should be allowed to vote for that side. I believe in the same thing most of you believe in, which is just a, a regular world <laughs> where people are free to make their own decisions. We're in a weird time dude like if you're that guy that that sheriff chill out <laughs> you know what i'm saying calm down this is a this is a perfect example of a bigger problem going on okay i'm somebody that believes the election was stolen in 2020 light up my comments guys it's okay this is something i believe I do not push that belief on other people. And I'm that some call that belief radical. Fine. I don't act this way. <laughs> Even me admitting to that radical uh, thought process. I do not I would never act that way, dude. Your job is to be sheriff. Your job is not to police people's thoughts or their politics or whatever sign they want to have. I think it's it is kind of fucked up. I don't give a fuck about the you know, how it makes the migrants feel. Again, I'm Team America. I'm Team Take Care of Your Citizens. You know, don't send our money elsewhere. Send it here. We need it. We need to fix things. Republican or not. Democrat or not. It doesn't matter. Places need fixing. And taxpaying Americans who are contributing to society, whether you like them or not, they need to be taken care of. Not in a socialist kind of way. Everybody relax. I know if a friend of mine is listening, he just got a boner for me saying that. Calm down. But you're, we, they do have a job. Like, this this is a society we're living in. And you don't get to do and say that. It's just a wacky thing to say. 
to me, you're just as bad as as the police that do have legitimate cases of brutality. There's a lot of bullshit cases, but there are some real ones. And those cops, to me, are just equally as shitty as this guy. I mean, what a piece of shit. What, what exactly did he say? Here's the post. Who had her signs in their yards. So when the illegal human locust, which she supports, needs to write down all the ad- People ask me what's going to happen if the flip-flopping laughing hyena wins. I say write down all the addresses of the people who had her signs in their yards. So when the illegal human locust, which she supports, needs places to live, will already have the addresses of their new families who supported their arrival, end quote. Those with Harris yard signs in their lawn now feeling intimidated. So <laughs> I, I was with this guy. <laughs> with the laughing flip-flopping hyena i was on board uh he lost me <laughs> the part about write down people's names who have signs in their yard for kamala harris that way we can what force a migrant to live with them i don't understand this guy's a uh, tirade is this a racist tirade is this an actual example um of a racist tirade Nobody really knows what a racist tirade is anymore because according to Twitter or X or whatever, it's everything. According to the woke left, it, it, anything that comes out of anybody's mouth. According to them, I have racist tirades on here constantly. Um, I disagree. I'm just sharing my beliefs that this might actually, this right here might actually be an example of a racist tirade. <laughs> um, what a piece of shit. <laughs> What a piece of shit. I think we, I think it's good for me to start the show with some common ground. Something that everybody believes in. This guy is a piece of shit. Funny, but a piece of shit, man. Um yeah, that's you just can't do that. You can't win and it's you shouldn't be doing that. I I love politics. I love the the grimy polarizing aspect of it all. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a fan. Um, I do miss the old days when politics was boring. But I do like that it's like a hot subject that everybody wants to argue and talk about. Makes my life more interesting because I enjoy it. I feel bad for the rest of you folks that don't. Just want to live your life. But hey, what are you going to do? But uh, (laughs) I do. We all need to just get back on the regular side of things, which is Hey, you believe what you believe. I believe what I believe. You're going to vote for who you're going to vote for. I am going to vote for who I I want to vote for. And there's, that's fine. I think we should argue with each other about our points. But at the end of the day, I can put a Trump flag up. You can put a Harris flag up, a sign and wear the shirt. You know, I I will say though, prepare for me to lose, uh, lose all that common ground right here. I'm a, I've already said my piece about this sheriff gentleman. He's a piece of shit, I think. And he should, probably should be fired. Uh, but at, at the same time, these guys are acting like they're afraid. Let me just, here, I'll let, I'll let him speak for himself. A threatening post to me and my wife because we have a sign out here that says who we want to run for, win for president. And it's a threatening um, implication for those who are immigrants coming in. The post comes as the council. So it's, it's, it, I get the point, right? They're, th- they don't like that. It's kind of a threatening tone. They, they should have the freedom at their house to put whatever they want in their yard. You can put whatever college football team you want in your yard. But you can't put your presidential, uh, candidate, I guess. But I will say this. And I'm going to move on. How long was it? literally physically dangerous to even leave your house wearing a make America great again hat or a shirt. Do you have any idea how many videos after 2016 I watched where people were out in public wearing a MAGA hat and some, some people of, uh, color <laughs> runs right up on them and just knocks them out 
and and, and stomps their fucking face in, or or women. God God damn it! I saw women. I saw a pregnant woman in a video during all these fucking BLM riots. He runs for re-election. This shut up. All these BLM riots. A pregnant woman get punched in the face for having a Trump shirt on and then kicked in her stomach on the ground. What kind of savage does this? So, on one hand, sure. I don't think this is right. I don't think it's right that this sheriff posted that. You know, who the fuck are you? Who are you? You're a sheriff. Per, 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 presented by our tax dollars, by the way. The people that live there, their tax dollars. The people that you're supposed to be, you know, policing, keeping safe, making these people feel like their community is, is, is you know, is safe and not, you know, dangerous. And this is what kind of shit that you spend your time doing. But on the other hand, let's not be too big a crybabies about it because you couldn't leave your house in a MAGA hat without catching a cup of ice to the face, um, a, a, a steel bat to the back of the head. These are all things I've seen. These, I'm not, these are not random scenarios that I'm just making up. These are real kids getting knocked out, white guys getting just knocked out left and right for wearing a MAGA hat. And then my f my biggest example is um, the video of the man, you know, and I quote, yelling, "We got a Trump supporter here," and then shooting him right in the fucking head, dead. I saw the video, clear as day. So, yeah, you got a little thing to complain about there, but Kamala Harris supporters, let's let's calm down and just live your fucking life, relax. Nobody's making a migrant move in with you. And uh, just remember that. Just remember what the other side had to go through. And again, I'm not on the side of, oh, conservatives have had this kind of treatment. So whenever we get the chance, it's time to turn it around on them. No, we get nowhere doing that. They they spent years censoring conservative voices on the internet. So now that we have X or you know what have you, it's kind of shifted a little bit where. Uh, freedom of expression has kind of came back just a tad for the conservative side. Now I see some conservatives going after left-wing people trying to get them canceled. We can't be doing that. I already said that on here, but we that's not how I want things to be. That's just me.